Hi everyone, it's Dr. Ann Cartini. Welcome back to my channel. I hope you guys had a great week. This, uh, this video I'm going to talk about how my third week of my February Raw Vegan Challenge went. I would say it's definitely um, gotten better. I know second week I had mentioned that that was easier than the first week. And now by the third week, I'm not craving um, as many processed foods. Although I have to admit, when I see pictures of rice and cooked vegetables on Instagram, I still do have those cravings. But because my sauces have been very flavorful, thankfully that hasn't been really too much of an issue for me. My tip I would say is that for every given week, I have at least 10 different vegetables, um, including some fruits, you know, because technically tomatoes are a fruit. So I will have that available so that I can make different variations of dishes. I do also alternate among almonds, walnuts, and cashews, and that kind of helps to help with uh, different combinations as well. Uh, for my sauces, I have many, many different ingredients that I can make endless combinations of sauces. For example, my staples are apple cider vinegar, tahini sauce, almond butter, onion powder, chili paste, chili flakes, coconut aminos, and lots and lots of dried herbs such as dill, um, oregano, that sort of thing. And so when you have these different ingredients around, I'm able to dress up any dish and make things very flavorful. I don't mind eating the same thing over and over again, but sometimes if I get a craving for something else, I can easily change it by making a different sauce. So for day 14, uh, which happens to be Valentine's Day, that morning, of course, I had my overnight oats with almond butter, blueberries with coconut. For lunch, I had um, this coleslaw that I made, uh, which included carrots, some microgreens, edamame beans, bell peppers. For dinner, I did not actually cook this dish. My husband and I decided to get takeout from a local restaurant called From the Hearth. And this, um, they didn't have really um, full raw items, but thankfully I was able to modify one of the menu items and asked for kale instead of rice and avocado instead of tofu. Now I didn't realize that this dish also included uh, quinoa, which is cooked, but I'm not gonna uh, fret over that because it was just a minor thing and I enjoyed this dish very much. I chose the coconut lime sauce, which tasted like it really only had two ingredients, um, lime juice and coconut cream, and I did see some lime zest in it. Definitely naturally sweet, so good. I will try making this sauce um, myself, and I will share with you guys if I do end up making it. On day 15, I had overnight oats, um, my husband and I found these acai bowls at a local grocery store. We were really excited to find this because in the winter, we, we aren't aware of any places that offer this. Maybe they do. We just haven't really found a place, but uh, this was available. And so this ended up being my lunch and was very filling. Uh, my verdict, well, the berries had a good taste, but unfortunately it was a little soggy. So I would definitely prefer eating fresh fruit and making my own fruit bowl, but it did satisfy my craving for acai bowl. So overall, it's not bad. For dinner, I just had a simple dinner of cabbage, edamame beans, cauliflower with 
the cilantro jalapeno dressing. I love this sauce. It's quite spicy, which I do like, but if you like spicy, I recommend that you check out the recipe below. And by the way, all my other recipes will be found below uh, after this video if you'd like to, to get those. All right, so on day 16, my breakfast was very simple. It just consisted of a banana. For lunch, I had zoodles with a side of cauliflower. And um, last night, I had placed some edamame beans and um, cauliflower in the cilantro jalapeno sauce that I made. And uh, when you marinate vegetables overnight, it makes the, t the vegetables taste different. They're much more flavorful. It almost kind of cooks them, I feel like, in the vinegar. So I did that. I added it to my dish, and then I added new edamame beans um, with some other vegetables. I also um, made a yummy cashew-based sauce, and then I drizzled some more lemon juice on top, which was very, very good. For dinner, I had spring rolls with different vegetables inside of it. Um, usually with my spring rolls, I had been either using a peanut-based um, butter or almond butter in the sauce, but this time I decided to use tahini and it turned out great. So I will definitely do that again. On day 17, of course, I've had the oatmeal again with blueberries. For lunch, I had zoodles with um, various vegetables, as you see here, and then with a cashew cheese. Like I said in previous videos, I do tend to make extra sauces so that I could use it for another dish um, the next day. For dinner, I made a cauliflower soup in my Blendtec. So it was warm and of course it's still raw because it doesn't reach a certain temperature. Now, I will say that the soup was decent. Um, it's not one of my favorites um, because I added in raw peas and I could taste the peas very much in this soup. So it's, it was, it was okay. Um, I don't know if I would make this exact recipe. I would try to do a different cauliflower soup, but just maybe leave out the peas next time. If you guys have a good raw cauliflower soup, please comment below and help me out. I'd love to try your recipe if you recommend it. All right, so moving on to, let's see, day 18. I had overnight oats with banana this time. For lunch, I wasn't too hungry, so I ended up having blueberries with a side of walnuts and dates, and this ended up being very filling. By dinner time, I was a lot more hungry. So I had cauliflower um, with some bell peppers, red cabbage, microgreens, and a side of sauerkraut because I wanted to get some probiotics in my system. Um, I got this sauerkraut from Trader Joe's. I would say that I didn't always like sauerkraut, but I don't know, perhaps it's an acquired taste. I did like it with this dish. And uh, for this particular dish, I used my cilantro jalapeno sauce with it, and it was very tasty. For day 19, um, I had a banana for breakfast. For lunch, I kept it very simple and had zoodles with pesto sauce and tomatoes. I really recommend if you make pesto and leave it for um, a few days in your refrigerator, try putting lemon juice in it because I noticed that this pesto sauce does oxidize very quickly, so the lemon juice helps to prevent um, oxidation, or at least it slows it down. 
for dinner, um, it was one of those days where I didn't feel like chopping things up. And so after work, my husband and I went to Trader Joe's and we bought some romaine hearts, broccoli slaw, and um, pico de gallo that was already freshly made and uh, pre-packaged. And so when we got home, I just assembled these tacos. I added some shredded red cabbage, chopped green onions, walnuts, sprinkled some taco seasoning from Costco, and then added the pico de gallo. Super simple, super quick, yet super flavorful. So I'm thankful that even though busy schedules kind of make things difficult to prep things, um, I don't really have an excuse in this case because there are very quick ways that you can make food very flavorful yet nutritious. And finally, day 20, uh, this, this particular morning, my husband and I had fruit smoothies. In this particular smoothie, I just used a one-to-one -one ratio of frozen strawberries and frozen blueberries. I put it in a blend tech. And my husband found this passion fruit juice. So unfortunately, even though it had um, some added sugars, I wanted the passion fruit taste in the fruit juice. So I just added it to the blender maybe about halfway and I diluted uh, the rest of it with, uh, with water. So, so here are the smoothies. I typically do like to add kale or spinach but I forgot to do that this day but that's okay um, we still got our phytonutrients in with some tasty fruit now for lunch my husband and I were running some errands and we took a little bit longer than we had anticipated so we were able to find a nearby eatery I requested a salad um, typically it does come with meat and cheese but I had them omit that and um and so you see that the salad has greens and apples um candied pecans which i know is added sugar but you know i just make the most of what we have so i wasn't too bummed out about that um it did come with some dehydrated cranberries and then also this berry vinaigrette which was a little bit sweet, sweeter than I would have liked but again when you're out and about um, I'm just grateful that we were able to find something that was fairly raw and I would say overall um, not bad at all. For dinner I made romaine wraps again um, a little bit different than last the previous night I would say um, even though it's similar I did use different vegetables but this time I, instead of using pico de gallo, I used a tahini based sauce. I made extra again so that I could use it for uh, some future dishes. And it turned out great. I really love these, uh, what you can do with different sauces. So if you guys have any favorite sauces with tahini or any plant-based nut butter please feel free to comment below i'd love to he to hear from everyone to learn your recipes i'm learning a lot from my friends on social media as well as at work um so it's awesome if you found this video was helpful please do like this video and subscribe to my channel because I would love for this to get to as many people as possible to help them in the arena of health and nutrition. Thank you so much for your support, everyone. I really appreciate your time. I hope you have a great rest of the week and I look forward to seeing you guys next time. Bye, everyone.